sit down comfortably in any comfortable meditative posture make sure that your spine is upright and straight hands are on the knees or in front wherever comfortable if they are on the knees then they should be either in gyan mudra or in chin mudra head in a straight line with the spinal cord and not drooping either forward or to the side eyes and mouth gently closed for a few moments become aware of the whole body adjust the body and be comfortable if there is anything tight then loosen it if there is tension in any part then try to release the tension and make yourself physically comfortable We are going to practice Chidakash Dharana. It is a technique of dharana, concentration of mind. In which mind is fixed upon a particular experience whether it be of the body or of the inner perception Chidakash literally means the space of consciousness It is the viewing screen of Agnya Chakra the jet black room where psychic phenomena manifest for the benefit of the physical mind it is the link between the consciousness the subconscious and the superconscious and is the point where the object of meditation is most easily perceived become aware of the physical being the body and total awareness of the body adjust yourself finally so that you do not have to make a movement for about 25 minutes The first important point in any meditation is that you adjust yourself in such a way that throughout meditation you are not disturbed by the outer surroundings or physical experiences. And once you have made yourself comfortable become quiet physically. concentrate on your physical body from top to the toe do not concentrate on a particular part of the body but concentrate in the form of awareness of the whole body from top 
to the toe. You have to practice the homogeneous awareness which includes the whole body in one glimpse. Concentration on the physical body and also on physical immobility. And if by chance you happen to make any physical movement, you should become aware of that movement. The movement should not be unconscious movement. But you must try your best not to move the body even the slightest. This is the first lesson in inner yoga. Total awareness of the body. You do not have to concentrate on anything. Just be aware of the body. This is the most important and the basic part of meditation. If you want to make a movement, if you want to make a movement, then you must become conscious of this desire and say to yourself, no movement. When you concentrate on the whole body and when you remain conscious of each and every movement about to take place in the body. Then the body becomes like a statue and the consciousness changes. The feeling of astral levitation comes. Before you go to control the mind, you must have the strength to control the body. Before you go to concentrate on subtle things, you must concentrate on the gross experiences. Now direct your awareness to the breath. It is subtler than the body. Become aware and concentrate on your own breath, the natural breath. Concentrate on the natural breath flowing in the nostrils. There is no effort in breathing in or out. When you breathe in, you should know that you are breathing in. When you breathe out, you should know that you are breathing out. You should maintain awareness. You should maintain constant awareness of the process of breathing. unbroken and unceasing awareness of the breathing process. The breath is natural and is flowing in the nostrils. 
it enters through both the nostrils and becomes one in the region of the eyebrow center. The breath enters through the two nostrils separately and joins at the eyebrow center. The breath forms a triangle and the top of the triangle is the eyebrow center. Awareness of breath Awareness of the passage of breath through the nostrils to the eyebrow center. Constant and unbroken awareness of the breath in the shape of a triangle. Concentrate on the natural, spontaneous breathing. Come closer to the breath. With each ingoing and outgoing breath, feel the movement of Mantra Om. Mentally repeat the Mantra Om with every inhalation and exhalation and maintain the awareness of the triangular breath. Be aware that you are breathing in and out through the nostrils up to the eyebrow center. Be aware of the mantra Om at the same time. When you are breathing Om in, and when you are breathing OM out, you are at the same time creating a triangle through both nostrils up to the eyebrow center. Through both nostrils the breath goes up to the eyebrow center and while you are breathing in and out you are aware of the mantra OM. Just concentrate on the practice of breath observation in form of a triangle and mental repetition of the mantra OM with every inhalation and exhalation. Withdraw yourself completely 
from me and my instructions. And just be aware of breath and OM and triangle that breath forms. I will continue to speak, but you have nothing to do with my instructions. You are just aware of breath and mantra. Total awareness. Do not sleep. Do not become drowsy. Work the breath and mantra together in the form of a triangle. Now withdraw your mind from breath and mantra awareness and concentrate on the forehead inside. forehead concentrate on the forehead from inside as though you are looking at the inner side of a wall the whole brain the whole skull of the head may be like a room and the forehead is like the front wall and you are trying to see the inner side of the front wall Concentrate on the inner side of the forehead. Which you can experience in front of the closed eyes. In form of a black space. Or the sky. The inner space or the inner sky is known as Chidakash. When you become aware of this inner space, the awareness should be completely relaxed. The brain is like a room and the forehead is the front wall and the right temple is the right wall. The left temple is the left wall. The back side, posterior of the head is the back wall and the top of the head, crown of the head is the ceiling of the room. Try to see the inner walls of the room by following my instructions. Concentrate on the inner side of the front wall. Now take your mind to the right side and try to see the inner side of the right wall. Shift your awareness to the left side and try to see the inner portion of the left wall. Shift your mind to the back side and become aware of the inner side of the back wall. Shift your awareness to the top and try to see the ceiling.
you have to become aware of chitakash from inside as though you are sitting in a room and trying to see the inner walls the inner side of the room from the center of the room forehead is the front wall right temple side is the right wall left temple side is the left wall back side is the back wall and top is the ceiling experience the front wall see the front see the right wall see the left wall the back wall the ceiling front right left back wall ceiling see this space and feel yourself inside it be aware of chitakash the space within the space without form the space which is undefined you are within the space and as you observe chitakash you will see that many colors and points of light move in the space and they create different shapes and shadows become aware of the movement in chitakash be aware of the movement from moment to moment total awareness of the movement from moment to moment movement of colors points of light creating changing shapes forms and shadows Now bring the attention to the eyebrow center the point where breath becomes one in the region of the eyebrow center take a deep breath in and chant om three times with me Oh 
Slowly externalize the mind. Begin to move the body. And once you fully externalize the attention, the awareness, then gently open the eyes. Hari Om Tat Sat. Hari Om Tat Sat. Hari Om Tat Sat.